Hello everyone, Kilika Divine here playing Football Manager 2017. We are playing with Grasshoppers and uh, we are just about to start the second season. And we need to make the decision what the expectations are, uh, will be for the next season. Um, we're gonna go for European Champions League. We can reach the group stage and we are already in the group stage so that should be easy. Uh, Swiss Super League. Euro League, Europa League qualification through the league, and uh, I think that is reasonable. And also reach semi final in the Swiss Cup might be tough, but uh, we're gonna still take the lowest one. And we also see that we receive 2.75 million euro for the television rights in the forthcoming season. We are about to play our first match of the season. Um, let's look at transfers here actually, we only have signed one player, a goalkeeper, Nestor, he is 3 stars, 3 star potential, a lot cheaper than the goalkeepers we already had, and uh, he might play a lot, but Ewell Mall will be the first choice at the start of the season, because he is a Swiss player. Uh, other than that, we moved up uh, Devin Manko to the first team. We moved up uh, Noah Lossley to the first team because we are looking to sell uh, Pleinship. Uh, Valera, not sure if he will be playing a lot this season. We'll see about that because uh, Lavanchi and Manko should go before him. We have also moved up uh, Quintales. And we only have three attackers in this uh, squad at the moment. We can move up uh, Florian Camberi. But uh, we are also looking to sign someone. Um, we do not really have much options yet. Uh, we are looking at loans, we are looking at transfers. We will see if we find someone, but uh, it will not come before the league starts, because the league starts today, first match against Faduz, and uh, well, I guess we will play uh, nine league matches in this first episode of the season, and we will also see at least one match of the Champions League, it will be interesting to see what kind of group we will get, we already looked at the expectations, but the media prediction matches that we are tipped to come in fourth place, which should mean Europa League qualification. Ah, I, uh, I know this is going to be a tougher season because we are relying on the attackers of uh, Gubari, Sukhachev and Mansi. And uh, they are not bad, but I really feel like we need someone that can lift the attack a little bit more or at least uh, be on par with Mansi. We will see if uh, Gubari or Sokachev can uh, improve enough this season to be on that level or if we need to get someone in. So, uh, we are looking, as I said, but uh, so far we haven't really found anything that we can afford. And we have had a strong start to the season. You can see in the friendlies we won against everyone except for Reading. And then when the regular season started, the Swiss Super League started against uh, Faduz. 3-0, and we can see it was the Caillou show. First goal on a penalty. Caillou, Caillou got the penalty himself and he took it and he scored. The goalkeeper was on the ball, but it still counts. Then it was time for Sukachev and Caillou finds the pass and Sukachev scores 2-0. And just before half time, Mansi finds Caillou and Caillou with the left foot, he finds the net. Wow, that was an impressive shot. 3-0 uh, and that was the end result against uh, Faduz. Second match of the season came against Lucerne and uh, quite a strange match. We dominated but we couldn't find uh, any goals other in than uh, in the second minute. And it was yet again Caillou who got the goal with the left foot, this time in another corner. He is starting this season very strong after his injury last season. We also have a new player. 
as I've been saying, we struggled a lot finding someone that could help us uh, with the attack. In the end, it was the Brazilian player Rafael Lucas. Um, haven't really done much in the world yet. He's from Brazil. He belonged to CTB. Been on loan for many seasons. But uh, now he's coming to Grasshoppers and we will see if he will be able to perform. He looks decent. I, uh, I, I think he should be a good player to have. And he only cost us 300,000. So it was a bit of a bargain. And I hope that he will, uh, we will at least be able to sell him for more than that. And that he will, yeah, can perform a little bit. You can see his potential is 4 stars and 3 stars ability right now. 6 matches have been played into the season and we are 6-0-0. We are going very well in the league at the moment. 4-1 against the uh, Zion. And yet again it was Caillou with a free kick. He have been solid so far this season. Then it was the first match of our new Brazilian attacker, Rafael Lucas, and he scored. Lucas Andersen with the penalty, 3-0. Then Lucas Andersen is going to score our last goal of the match as well. Some flipper inside the box, but uh, a goal is a goal. After Sion, we took on uh, Thun. Our new Brazilian guy, Rafael, finds Mansi and Mansi scores. Then we had a free kick and the ball ended up in front of Antonov and Antonov scores. And it's not, not a real match if Caillou will not score. And he ended the, the goals for us this match. A solid 3-1 victory. Against Lugano, it was tougher. We ended up winning, but there was only one goal in the match. And that goal came from Mansi. He has woken up this season as well. After that, we played against uh, Lugano one more time, this time in the Swiss Cup. And we actually lost that match. A late goal, 91st minute. That was a big disappointment, especially since we have been playing extremely well. But after that we came up against the young boys and after a close first uh, half and uh, the start of the second half was also very close with both teams creating decent chances. Uh, suddenly we started to score and then the match opened up. So it's going to be Mansi and there we go. One score. Another goal from Mansi. Uh, very nice to see him waking up this season as well. He started a bit slow, but we had other people doing the business. But now the business is all about Mansi, second goal of the match. And then Rafael Lucas is going to score as well. There he goes. Very nice to see that. We have also brought in one more player. It's Gilson Costa coming in from Benfica on loan. We are not paying anything for him. And I felt like we need, needed someone who was more natural as a defensive midfielder. Uh, we have uh, Bosic, of course, he's very good. But we didn't really have anyone else that is natural in that position. So I thought, uh, why not sign someone that is free and could have a, a good backup in that position. Um, Bayrami is the other option, but... Uh, I felt like he's better, yeah, well, he, you can see he's better as a normal midfielder. And we can see that the, the schedule is rather tough for us. Uh, match 6 is against uh, Young Boys, match 7 against St. Gallen, match 8 against Basel. And then we face Zürich as the ninth uh, team. And uh, that is of course a derby. We are from the same time, town Grasshoppers are also from Zürich. So, they, they are the newcomer to the league. They surprisingly went out in the real life, but now they are back in the game. Uh, of course, a derby is always uh, difficult, but I feel like we are so strong this season, so we should be able to, to beat them. 
Uh, we are also close to the group stages being drawn. And since this is the first time we are playing in the Champions League, of course we get an easy group. Or wait, maybe not. Uh, Bayern München, Juventus and Sporting Lissabon. That it's going to be very tough. Maybe we can beat the Sporting. It's not impossible. We will see if we can do that. We are also selling Juan Valera quite cheap. But uh, yeah, we, we don't need him. At least I don't think so. So a tough group for us. Oh, this is going to be tough. But uh, if we are playing the way we are playing in the league, maybe we can take third place. And the title odds for the Champions League is in. You can see that Bayern is the third favorite. And Juventus is the sixth favorite to win the whole thing. And we're going to face both of them. First up is Juventus, and that match is next. But let's look at our performance first. Against St. Gallen. Rafael Lucas gets the ball, and finds the net. Sukhce with the assist. Rich Mansi was injured during this match. But we didn't need Rich Mansi this time. Caillou finds Sukhce and an easy touch. To, uh, to get the final goal of the match, 2-1. We then faced uh, Basel, and this was a really odd match. Third minute, Mansi finds Levanshi, and Levanshi finds Rafael Lucas to score the first goal of the match. Caillou wanted to get involved as well, and there he finds the space to run in and get the second goal of the match. And Caillou, Rafael Lucas finds him, and 3-0, uh, that was the third shot on goal, or the third shot in the match. Mansi was back, and uh, he gets the third shot in the match, 4-0, uh, Grasshoppers. Basel then started to uh, mount the comeback, just two minutes after our goal. They got their first one. Then the first thing that happened in the second half. Basel scores again. For a moment I was super nervous. But my team managed to fight back. You can see that uh, our possession was higher. Shots on target was higher. But they had more shots totally. Uh, at the end of the match. The law just before full time, they managed to get the third goal, but uh, we win 4 3 against Basel in a crazy match. So, eight matches into the season, we have been playing amazingly, haven't lost anything yet, and uh, our goalkeeper, Ewell Mall, have been amazing. I was unsure about him coming into this season, but he has proved that he is a champion. Uh, in the goal. Now we're gonna face Juventus. That will be uh, something totally different. Are we ready for this challenge? And we are going to play away in the first match. Ah, this is going to be tough, but uh, maybe we can upset them. And some hope is given. Our grasshoppers under 18s managed to get a point against Juventus under 20s. That is impressive. That is in the Youth Champions League. Josip Mujic, one of our big talents. Vincent Baruche, Dominic Thomas. We hope for those three in the future. And they show that they can compete against strong teams here. And we will be playing with the usual suspects. The same team as we've been using most of the matches this season. This should be the best team we can offer. And we can see most of them have been playing well. Trafi Munoz is playing not as good as last season. But that is because last season he played in this position that Andersen plays in now. But he went to step back a little bit. Uh, and he's not as good in this position. But he's still been a valuable member of the team. Let's get into the match.
Juventus, of course, is the main favorite here. Even if our odds were not that bad. Uh, Higuain, Dybala, Pjanic, Asamoa, Lemina, Marchisio, Alexandro, Chiellini, Bonucci, Daniel Alves and Buffon. That is a very scary team. Uh, should we go counter? I'm gonna go to counter attack. Let's tell the team we are the underdogs. An early attack from Juventus. Nothing happened. Good showing from us to manage to keep them away. Oh, it's going to be a lot of highlights for Juventus this match probably. Duel Mall goes highest in the air to take the ball. Chiellini read the pass and instead it's going to be Juventus. No, maybe it will be us to get the highlight. Oh, they have so many players around our players. Maybe that shows that Juventus are still scared for... Caio, Caio, Caio! Yes! Yes, we scored the first goal against Juventus! The uh, 10th minute, it's Caio! Wow! Andersen finds uh, a good space. Caio can run into another space and create a chance to get the goal. What the... Wow! Half time, we are in the lead. Should we do anything? We have some tired players, but we, we're gonna keep this going. We're not going to, to make a speech at half time. We're just gonna let them do their thing. We can see that Juventus have been the stronger team in the first half, but uh, it doesn't matter. Get the ball back. No, come on. Ah. Oh, Dybala, Dybala, oh, yes, 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 nice clearance. Ooh. <laughs> Just a few minutes left to play. Can we still keep the ball away? Yes, good job, good job, defense. I, I think we might be able to hold this. <sighs> I shouldn't have said that. Okay, uh, still 1-1 one, one would still be amazing. Oh, that's the bar! Oh, our players are so tired. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, you will ball! You are a god! You are a god! What the hell is wrong with my team? How can they beat Juventus? And look at the match stats. They have 39 shots. We have five. Ah. Uh, Please, ref, <laughs> end the match. Munoz takes the ball. Ah, didn't manage to find uh, Caio with the pass there. Instead, it is Juventus, but they are desperate. They are very, very desperate. They have eight times as many shots as us. Eight times more. <laughs> Should be one minute left to play, or actually 45 seconds. Ah, oh, that's not, that's a bit too hard. Good thinking. Oh, 20 seconds left to go. If we can just take the ball now. Nope, 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 nope. Dibala, yes, yes. End the match. Blow the whistle, blow the whistle, please. Yes, we win. We managed to beat Juventus. What the hell? <sighs> Look at the, the those stats. 40 shots. We have five. Uh, we FM'd <laughs> Juventus. Bayern München also won their game. Game 4-1 against Sporting. The end of the episode is very close at least. Um, Swedish, we got one point from that match. It was not good enough. I felt like the team was maybe a bit uh, taken back by the win against uh, Juventus. So they we couldn't really perform to our fullest. We did take the lead. Caillou finds Antonov. Antonov finds Mansi. But Swedish took it back. That was a bad throw-in, Antonov. 
that was a tough one to 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 not win but we have been playing amazing we are at the top of the lead top of the league five points ahead of young boys 10 points ahead of Lucerne, St. Gallen, and 11 points ahead of Basel. So it is looking good for us, and we have played one match in Champions League. We won against Juventus away. Uh, let's look at that goal one more time. 10th minute. Oh, that is a beauty! Very important uh, goal for the team. Now I feel like we can compete for that third spot in uh, in the group. I'm not gonna get my, ho uh, my hopes up uh, for moving on to to the playoffs of Champions League. I don't think that is a possibility, even if we did an amazing performance in that match. So uh, more grasshoppers, more Champions League coming up. Until then, I am Killer Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.